How to create a shortcut for hyperlinking in Affinity Publisher version 1 and 2. Hi, Kerry here from Dream Creator B and welcome to our channel where we show you how to make money online with low content products like KDP low content books, printables and digital planners. Now last year I actually created a two-part video series showing you how to actually create digital planners in Affinity Publisher version one and one of the big issues that came up was finding a shortcut to actually start with hyperlinking because as you know with any digital planners when you create them there are literally hundreds of hyperlinking that you need to do whether it's going from tabs or whether it's going to dates or anything like that so I've got version one open in the screen now and I'm going to actually show you what I mean so if I right click on say this area here and then go down to interactive I can do my hyperlinking there but like I say if you've got to create hundreds of these which you do in um, digital planning or anything like that then it's quicker and easier to create your own shortcuts so the way you do that is you go up to where it says affinity publisher now again this is version one you go into settings and it gives you this screen here and then you will see that it actually says keyboard shortcuts so I click on that and then make sure that this actually says text it usually starts off with affinity publisher like that but if you change it to text you'll see it gives you a number of different uh, items and you can go in and change all of these to be in what you want to do or add your own shortcuts so I'm actually looking for interactive as I'm scrolling down here so I'm insert interactive here so we get to interactive and you can see that it says insert hyperlinks and I'm actually going to use a command and H in fact, that's giving me a warning I might use control and H and that doesn't give me a warning so I'm going to click off that I can click on any of my areas that I might want to actually put a hyperlink so I've clicked down to December there all I need to do now is control and H and it brings up my hyperlinks and again I can edit it from there for an anchor a URL a file or an email so that's how you do it in version one let's go across to version two so here we are in version two so if I'm just select one of my master pages again when I was in the group here it was hyperlink so right click interactive and I could edit the hyperlink but I haven't got any shortcut keys again so to go and put it in version two click on where it says affinity publisher two go into settings now this looks totally different and you'll see that down here it says shortcuts make sure that you're on text and again you're looking for interactive hyperlinks and again I'm going to use the exact same one for mine which is control H and then I'm just going to click close and again control and H because I'm on a Mac and again hyperlink is there so I can change it to anchor I can change it to page or I can change it to file email section or URL so that is a quick way of giving yourself a shortcut so you can go through quickly adding your hyperlinks in your digital planner or adding hyperlinks in any of your products that you sell online hope this video was helpful so if you found that helpful don't forget to hit the like button and if you find any of these videos helpful why not hit the subscribe button too